All right, we should be back. Got to figure out why the game isn't popping up on the on the thing there. Weird. Too big. Just grab this, put this like that. There we are. Let me just drag this down here. Okay. We have sound. Yes, we have sound and microphone and everything we need. So, this is an old game called SAP Containment Breach. I've never actually fully played through it. I played it a little bit here and there uh, when I was... Uh, when I was, Jesus. Oof. 21 hours in. I played this a little bit years and years ago. I think it's been updated significantly since then, and then since abandoned. So, eh, I don't know really what to expect out of it. But, I know it's fun, I know it's weird, it has a lot of gimmicky, very gimmicky things. Uh, it's all based off of an internet website called uh, SCP. It's Secure, Contain, Protect. It's about, it's fan fiction about m monsters and objects that do weird shit, and all about like, military redacted super classified crazy bullshit area 51 stuff it's an interesting genre or not genre it's an inter interesting subject that's not the right word can't think of the right word it doesn't matter it's interesting uh there's some really good stories within the SCP world, and there's some really stupid stories, and there's some really weird stories. Um, this guy down here, nicknamed Peanut, is one of the fan favorites. Uh, his whole shtick is that he doesn't move unless you look at him. Sorry. No. Wow. He only... He doesn't move if you look at him, but when you're not looking at him, he moves very fast and will break your neck. So you have to keep your eyes on him, but, as we'll find out in a moment, uh, snake. Uh, why don't we start on safe? We might do this a couple times, depending on if we actually go through it really quickly. So apparently we can just save anytime. It is a randomly generated game. There are a number of SC different SCPs in this game. Uh, Peanut is definitely one of them. Uh, and there's a whole blink mechanic. Let's see how we do. I don't remember much. Don't wear SCP-714. It's it exhausts you, it slows you, it wants you to sleep. You can see in the bottom left there's like an eyeball meter. That's for blinking. Oh wow, I need to fix some options here. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that way the fuck down, Jesus. Is there mouse acceleration? What the fuck? Mouth smoothing, none. Jesus, why would you ever want that? It should never be a thing ever. There we go, huh. What are the controls? I should find out the controls. Being able to control my blinking, kind of important. Manual blink is space. Sprint, inventory, crouch, quick save. Okay.
SCP, on behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to the exciting one month working period. What are we top secret research facility? Control, this is Agent Aldrin. Unfortunately, the exact details of your upcoming assignments are highly classified. Please read your document. Hey, they've got some work for you. Do All me right. a favor and step out of your cell. Sure. Just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to uh, exterminate any disobedient test subjects, so I'd recommend not doing anything stupid. Alright. I'm a D-class subject. Attention, please. Security. Team 12B. Please report to Light Containment Checkpoint Kilo B for immediate service. Uh, so did you see any good movies lately? Psst, nah, I, I don't really watch movies. Oh, okay. Oh, what about video games? You know, that reminds me, somebody should make a video game based on this place. Why would anyone... Meta. Uh, here we go. SCP-173. Object cannot move while in within direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personal to observe Class IV hazardous object containment procedures. The reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. That's right. They're shoving me at Peanut. It's down there. Mm. Yeah, this got out of hand real bad, real fast. It was down here. There's like a tutorial, and then it becomes serious. Just don't know how to get the fuck out of here. Pretty sure he is interact, right? Uh, it doesn't actually say what interact is. That's weird. Move forward, strafe left, strafe right, menu blank sprint. Huh. I don't know what interact is. Attention. All personnel report to God, that's loud. Immediately. One second. Hmm. 
I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be right now. Hey, I'm the folder. No idea what the fuck I'm doing. But there's no peanuts out there somewhere. Super don't know. Oh, it's in the mouse? It's the mouse. Oh, okay. I've just been not hitting the right button this whole time. Thank you. I'm at very little sleep, so uh, my comprehension of things is going down fast. There we go. can hit buttons behind you. Oh. Light testing chamber 2. Key card, huh? Well, don't want to go toward the death noises. That seems like a thing I don't want to deal with. Yep, don't want to deal with that. Things are getting bad fast. Real fast. Hey, this seems like an okay place for a second, Jesus. Level one key card, hey. Actually, I think I just want to go backwards for a second. I don't know if anything in particular is chasing me. But I honestly don't just don't know how this game works. Level three, okay. I wish uh, a certain SCP would stop fucking with the lights, but you know, you know how that one is. Can I need a battery? Uh, SCP-939. Oh, Jesus. Primary method of luring prey is the imitation of human speech and the voices of vi prior victims. Christ. Okay, so ignore sounds of humans. Gotcha. I am very big lost, by the way. What? It's just a piece of paper? Level three, hmm. I'm very not sure if I want to keep the doors open or not. Depends on who I'm dealing with, right? If it's Peanut, the door's gotta be closed. 
If it's almost anyone else, the door's gotta be open. Alright, I'm gonna quick save here. Because I actually do remember this a bit. Oh, wait, no. Wrong. Uh, I need to get in there. Or higher, okay. Surveillance room. Level one card is uh, pretty fucking terrible. Hasn't really gotten me anything so far. Oh, it's just so much. Oh, oh, wow. I think that was Tall Man. No, I don't know who that was. Oh, this is just a bad place to be. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just gonna turn around. See, I thought he was a trap, but in fact, he was trapped. So that makes this a big fucking dead end. Sadly. Finally, fucking open something. What a goddamn concept. Can't open that, huh? Oh, there's Peanut. Is that a level 2 card? Yeah, level 2 card. S300 Navigator. Oh, that's nice. That's super good. Oh, it's saying that's not even a real door. Gotcha. So Peanut's currently trapped. He doesn't have a way of getting out of there. Quick save here, because that seems like a good progress point. Actually having a map. Oh! Alright. Don't know what happened there. It's like he... Oh, 
Oh, he smashed the glass? This is back where we started. No reason to go in there. That thing's still there. You know what? Let's quick save and see what happens. You gonna break my face? Oh, I can just run by you. Okay. see. Uh, we're gonna shut this. I didn't need to do that. So, SCP-914 is super, super good. Let's see. Don't know why I'm bothering. I'm the only one alive anymore, I think. Or maybe just sane. Or am I even that much at this point? I feel like I have to leave something, some shard of myself behind. I've seen the others. I know I'll most likely not even leave a body. So maybe that's what this is. Slivering myself off, leaving breadcrumbs of my brain, scattered and tattered. I keep learning things in the dark. It's almost worse than in the light. Than what's in the light. I taste metal. Okay. Well. This machine is fucking fancy. Depending on what you do with it, you can get some really good results. Uh, at least in the multiplayer version. Hey, Joseph Joestar. Yes, I am very tired. I'm barely making any sense. See, I just made that level two, that level one key card into a level two key card. That fucking noise. And we're gonna keep doing this uh, until we get a key card that is good enough to do anything we want. What's this? Test log. No organic matter is to be entered into the SP SCP 914. Input steel, you get steel screws on setting one to one. It's weird. Interesting. So, just keep doing... At level 3... I don't see why I shouldn't try, right? God, I don't know what that noise is, but I really don't like it. Oh. It might become a playing card. I see. Well, maybe I can make this card a better card. Oop. Or am I fucked at that point? Oh. 
back to a level two. Any other card on very fine level 200%. Interesting. Well, I think I can do two at once, right? Let's, let's find out. Yeah, there we go. That'll speed this up. Let's try to get lucky, huh? I got a level four card. Uh, is there anything past level four? You said, oh, level four and fine is level five guaranteed. Gotcha. It's weird that three to four isn't guaranteed, but everything else pretty much is. There we go. That's worth a save. I don't really need this, but I'll hold on to it anyway. What if the navigator can be upgraded? Really low chance? Okay. If this breaks, it will just reload. Navigator and very fine. <sighs> I like the multiplayer version. I have seem to have a lot of fucking time for this. Last game I played in the multiplayer version, the fucking tall man came through the goddamn wall. Seven three. What's one seven three? Ah, it's peanut. Gotcha. Well, armed with an amazing map and the best card key card we can get. This is just me wanting to find out what the fuck these SP SCPs even are. Seven one four. Seemingly nothing more than a jade ring. It expands and contracts to perfectly fit the finger of those who touch it. Uh, it exhausts you. Slowed reactions, reduced mental capacity. Mental shield is a dubious benefit of seemingly reduced mental capacity. Shows abnormally high resilience to mimetic and mental influences. Huh. That seems like it could actually be useful. Yeah. Like, not useful all the time, but useful once in a while. And, I don't know. What's more than seven? This is 714, isn't it? No, 47. I don't 
don't need this. SCP-427 was created after placing a pill of SCP-500 in the input booth of the SCP-914 and using the find setting. When opened, a small glowing orb is visible at the center. The orb emits no radiation or energy aside from the visible spectrum. However, long-term exposure produces significant health for a hazard. If the locket heals damage, it optimizes the body's natural systems. Class D personnel exposed to the device for over an hour total began mutating into a shapeless mass of tissue. Ha. Huh. Zero four nine? What's zero four nine? Hmm. I mean, it seems like we should take it. Oh, but it's missing. Someone else took it. The bastards. I think the shortest way out is through the southeast wing. Follow me. Did you hear that? Oh, that's Peanut. Hi, Peanut. I don't see Peanut. Oh, that's not a... What would I pick up? Gas mask. Oh, I'm gonna need that later. Uh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. One foot in the What the fuck? Bosses of security. Except extreme violence for team. Oh, that thing we keep walking by. Gotcha. Well, let's not open that door. He's still down there. It shouldn't be empty. Hmm. Walkie talkie. Well, that's useless. Keep the three seven two sheet. Oh, four, eight, seven, eight. Interesting. Okay. Don't need this one anymore. Don't need that one anymore. Keep that over here. I don't need another key card. I don't think. Whoop. Oh, no. Okay. Phew. Sorry for not talking that much. I'm just trying to absorb everything. Oh, good point. Upgrade the gas mask. I mean, one, we know 173 is down there. And I don't think he can get out, so. I think he just got out. Oh, hey, he's out. Hmm. Well, that means we can go this way. Theoretically. Don't, don't know why we'd want to, though. Oh, yeah, there is a lot. There's a couple quarters in it. That could be useful, I guess. I 
Man, there's a lot to this game. I'm glad you guys are here helping me out because there's no fucking way I'd be able to do this at this hour. Alright, let's see if we can get past Peanut. I just saw him over there. Don't like that. Don't know why that sound happened. Bribe the SCPs. <laughs> yeah, that'll work out. What's setting for the gas mask? Uh, you can open doors? Oh, I did not realize that. fuck was that? Alright. Very fine. Well, let me, uh... We can't open that door. If we can't, I'll fucking hear it. Oh, hey. Hey, tall man. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here now. Yep. Hi, Peanut. How fast are you? Pretty fast. Not fast enough. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, we got a better gas mask. Yeah. We don't need them right now. Oh. Oh no! The game fucking crashed for some reason. Alright, well, uh, let's try that again. Glad we've been saving. This is an indie game after all, so it's not going to be perfect. <sighs> Did I wasn't really doing anything in particular, though. It's kind of weird. Unless that was an SCP that crashes the game, which I kind of doubt. Okay, we were going to upgrade gas mask. Which I don't think we did properly. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this before he... Let's see if, uh, is, he, is that Tall Man? Or is that someone else who's grabbing people? Is this the right version? Or is there a better version of the gas mask? It's Larry. I forget what Larry does. Radio on fine. Seems like this seed is happening the same way it was. Yep. Well, let's speed some things up. How fast are you? Eh. Wow. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, wait, no, the door's already open. 
Oh, turn too much. <laughs> Damn, that's a bad, uh, that's a bad situation I've gotten myself into. So what's wrong, what's wrong with the gas mask right now? Does it not have a... Uh... Yeah, thanks for the follow, Omelet. Didn't say I could breathe easier. Okay, I guess just do this real fast. Oh. Da -da -da. This is very fine. If Larry oh, wow, fuck it. I forget what happens if Larry touches you. Your transceiver, yes. Alright, let's save here. Right when he spawns. have to do get away from Larry, but uh, we're gonna try. Maybe he'll get tired. Bored. Doesn't seem like he's getting bored yet. I'm assuming it's a distance or... Oh, it's the plot. Is that the one we have to escape? And you kind of can't? Get away from him. Oh, hi, Peanut. Oh, he fucking cheats, doesn't he? Well, let's save here then. Wait, what? Is, what am I doing? Surveillance, sure. that noise a doctor I don't like the sound of that oh hi doctor I don't want to be a zombie please doctor please go away doctor doctor I need you to pick a fucking direction to path at me Understand that you don't know what's happening right now. Oh, there we go. Ah. I guess just coming here activates him, because lucky me. Hey, Peanut. Whew. I'm having a rough fucking time here. Ah, this is a dead end. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I never did get that uh, protection thing. 
I'm gonna have to juke the fuck out of this. The ring? The ring protects me from him? Are you sure? Alright. Oh, I'm so slow. Well. This isn't really helpful. Stop resisting. I'm here to cure you. Oh, that didn't, didn't really stop him. Hmm. Well. The fuck was that? Right. I'm not getting a lot done, I'm just getting a lot of fucking running in. From one SCP to the next. Oh yeah, I wanna know what this thing is. moving of my own accord. Oh wait, I can resist it. Uh. Ah, can't get me now. The fuck does this thing do? Can this kill other SCPs? This is one big fucking puzzle, isn't it? Huh. What the fuck is the hand? A severed hand? Oh, is there like a biometric thing somewhere? Well, that seems like a good save point. And I'm just gonna shut this forever. No brains allowed. Actually, wait. Did I just saved, right? Yeah, I want to see what happens. I'm actually going to speed this up. Blood. I, I must do it. <laughs> what did I forgot to drop the door. This, this makes no sense. Ooh, we're seeing it being written. Where's the door control? Is that in surveillance? Because I was kind of being chased at the time. I didn't actually have a chance to look around before the doctor showed up.
going now? I guess we're going back to the... 1162. I don't know this one. This doesn't seem great. Currently contained in a standard 5x5x5 five by five by five meter chamber. If it is not activated, it randomly shifts locations as detailed below. It is currently a hole in the cinder block wall of containment chamber 4. Measures, blah blah blah. It's activated when a sentient being reaches into the hole to the depth that the girth of their arm allows, at which point their fingers touch a solid surface similar in feel to the current location of blah, and they discover an item small enough to fit through the hole below their fingertips. It's something that the user has lost or was searching for at some cat point during their life. However, upon retrieval of the item, other item, another item will vanish from the person of the subject. Huh. Interesting. What if that applies to us? So lost something. Hey, we have a master card. But that's like a it's not a good kind of card. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Wait. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. I just wanted to see what would happen. All right. Yeah, I lost everything I had. So I guess you, the idea would be to put everything down that you care about. And then uh, go and go in there if you if you lost something. Ow. The card and wallet. Oh, can you do that and still use the card? Nice. Oh, but now it's a little harder to access. Eh, I'll... I'll, I'll leave it up for now, just because I'm lazy. And we have one blank spot, so... Safe location further along. I have saved. Alright, let's try this shit again. afraid of it coming up behind me, but gotta see if there's anything I can actually do here. Key card. Oh, that's behind me. Hmm. Oh. Like containment zone lockdown off. Heavy containment zone lockdown. 
Hmm. That fucking corner of my eye thing again. Jesus. Oh, it's right there. It's broken. Well, I guess we can get to light containment now. Or through light containment. Because we're in heavy, aren't we? in here well I feel like we did a positive thing I'll save doing this on one run would be really fucking difficult huh? hi peanut shit okay do I want to go that way for anything I don't actually know I can't think of anything offhand. Uh, zero four nine. Going on a fucking loop. Oh, he's right fucking on top of me. Oh, wait. Where am I? Oh, elevator? Seems good. Seems like a good thing. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, wait. He disappeared because of the level load. Whew. Save. Show yourself. Oh, wait a minute. I know how he works. As long as they don't run, it's whoa. As long as they don't run, it's fine. This map isn't helping anymore, by the by. That door is fake. Hey, who's there? I don't like that something called me from over there. Show yourself. I have to not move at all. Are there more than one of these things? Makes sense. I do have to move to move around though. these opening there's like no buttons or anything huh it's a lever where Jesus show yourself
like the voice acting. Wait, 049 again. Larry, and I'm busy. I see it, it's right there. Or, I know where it is. 